Okay, this video is for the honors credit for the Roll 2 Die Graphics program. Now, I'm not going to scroll down and show you the code I have at the end. I'm just simply going to run this to show you what it should look like. Oops. And they, the two die come on the screen, and then at the end, a text is, appears on the screen, and it says, your total is 4, so it adds up die 1 and die 2. I actually have two different text boxes, this one and this is a separate text box. And let me run some code here. I'm giving you a huge hint by going like this because I wanted to show you where I got this text code from. It's from this website right here. I actually have it listed uh, on our assignment page. I put code resource and right here, text methods. And so it's this one. Message, that's whatever variable you call, equals and then here's the built-in code. It says, draw this text on the screen at this location, centered at this location. So it's centered there. So in my case, uh, let's see my example code here. I'm centering it on, a, on the window is drawn by 500 by 500, but then I centered it right in the center. So if I hit F5 and I run this, Hello World appears right in the very center. Now by standard default, I think it's 10 or 12 point font. It's just small. Um, you'll notice that I made my set fill color for this to be white because it's a green background. And then you have to draw it, don't forget this. So you need minimum of three lines of code. However, I want you all to add a few more lines of code in here, a couple more lines. Uh, well, for two reasons, you're going to be adding more code. Two more lines first, just to get the font size larger. Um, and I'll show you that here. Let's see. Right here, you've got... Um, you can change the... Set face means you can change the font. And that would be this. You can change it. Now, you, I'm not requiring that. But I am requiring that you increase the size of it. So I have this line of code in there, this method, the set size method that changes it to, I don't know, something larger than 12. And let's see, style bold, you can also make it bold. I did that as well for my mine. I'll run this and I'll show you one more time. There it is. So I think mine is 18 and I have it bolded. All right, so you're required to do that. But then you also notice that in my example code here, I'm only doing hello world. I don't have a number after it. So you're going to have to do another at least minimum of three lines, but more if you want to make it match the, so the size. Um, you need to do at least these three and with another variable with the total. And so figure that out, figure out how you're going to get the total. Because you can't, this function does not let you put a comma right here and then put in some other variable or put another, you know, the integer of our total. It'll, it won't run, it'll give you an error. So you have to do another set of three boxes to have that drawn on the screen. So again, I have mine, I have two different text boxes. One is drawn right here and one is drawn right here positioned for the total. All right.